Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your reading. Taurus, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love. And uh, <laughs> hope you guys are all well. I was trying to put it on a, what do you call it? Kind of like delay, right? For me to get to the camera first. And uh, so let's see, we have, and Taurus, I have some of your oracle cards here, right? This is going to be a love reading for you and your person. It's going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And so far, Taurus, we have the medicine woman and the medicine man. And uh, yeah, we don't care what gender she is. No, we don't. <laughs> we're... And we have the owl medicine and the great mystery, right? But uh, the medicine woman, Taurus, is about someone who's healing somebody or healing somebody, yeah, or healing something. But uh, right next to that is the nine of arrows. So this man is kind of consoling this woman. She has anxiety. She's worried. Um... But this really kind of talks about either you have healed a situation, maybe helped somebody else heal, or you've resolved your own situation. I feel like that's the truth because we also have Al Medicine. So we have all this kind of, you know, uh, healing going on. The Great Mystery is also here. And the Great Mystery is uh, something beautiful coming, but you need to trust it. All right. So you just kind of have to have faith. So let's see what we have. Let's get a card from their true intentions. And this is my deck, right? Because this is what we want. We want their true intentions. And we have, they recognize the joy and they have fun with you. Okay. So, you know, uh, whoever is, whoever this is about, you know, if somebody recognizes joy, it, they can't usually stay away, right? Everybody needs joy for healing. Yeah. Or to be happy, right? So let's see what we have. And uh, let's get into it right now. So we got for Taurus. So we got and Taurus in the recent past your energy you have the ten of pentacles the six of swords showing up in a lot of these readings here and we are still in mercury retrograde right that means a lot of people are, have tried to come back out of the woodwork to you know kind of reconcile things yeah because it's just kind of how it is let's see what else we have and your person has some type of grieving, Taurus. The challenge for them is the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is the card of, this talks about kind of self-sufficiency, but it also talks about someone who may be single, right? As opposed to, you know, being coupled, right? Let's see what else we have. And the Star card. So your person, you know, Taurus, this reading is already about, for me, it's about a reconciliation and resolving something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, this man here, Taurus, is like uh, consoling this woman. She's holding the uh, she's holding the arrow, which is like a sword, right, with a heart on it. Yeah, it's a lover's deck. But, you know, he's consoling her. And I feel like, uh, but I feel like it's to resolve something. And I feel like somebody wants to reconcile with you. And you want to reconcile with them. The Three of Cups is in your desire your fear is the fool like somebody might not take it might not have courage or they might not take a chance your challenge Taurus is the king of cups so your person might be Pisces Cancer or Scorpio uh, or there could be a third person here who is uh, a water sign who might be a challenge that could be love that could simply be love the king of cups you know the energy itself you know, talks about somebody who is kind of handling their emotions well or handling their, handling their love life well. It could be that energy. And your person, the challenge for them is the self-sufficiency card or possibly being single. Mm -hmm. They look like uh, they're grieving right now. Your person has the five of cups. This is usually a sad ending. It can be emotional loss. That's why we call it an ending. All the fives are very... Uh, they're, you know, really challenging, right? They are. And there are uh, mostly turning points and crises. Yeah. You could be leaving a situation right now. Six of Swords, Taurus. It doesn't always have to be uh, a physical situation. That could be, you know, these are, the swords are about your mind, right? And here you are in the boat leaving with the Six Swords. But you could just be resolving something and moving toward uh, a calmer situation. And this could be with this King of Cups. It could be with Aries, with the full Aquarius is over here. So let's see what we have. 
and uh, let's look at the shared energy. And the shared energy is the Ten of Swords, OMG. How they feel about you is going to be the King of Pentacles. That's you, uh, Taurus. And uh, yeah, where this person is right now is the Nine of Wands. So here they are, the Wounded Warrior. And they are worried. Let me turn this off. They are worried about what was what's going to happen, right? What's going to transpire? Let me just put this on uh, Do Not Disturb because I thought it was on Do Not Disturb. And, uh, yeah, let's see here. Okay, there we go. I beg your pardon, you guys. So, you know, uh, where was I? <clears throat> Excuse me with this. This person's already gone through kind of a lot here, Taurus, with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, that's somebody who's gone through, you know, some hard times, and now they're, you know, kind of, they're worried about the future, right? And uh, the Ten of Swords is the shared energy. So maybe you've already ended the situation with this person, right? Maybe this is, maybe this is somebody that you want to reconcile with, the Three of Cups. It could be. Maybe you just want joy and happiness, Right? doesn't always have to be a reconciliation. But it does look like something's being resolved here, and that's why I say that. So let's get a card on the Ten of Swords. Your person's in the Nine of Wands energy, and also they're in the Five of Cups energy. So they're really sad, and they're worried about what's going to happen next. The Lovers. This is the shared energy. OMG. And we have the Strain card reversed. So... There, you know, could be a Leo here with a strength card in Gemini with the lovers. But this is, for me, this is kind of about uh, the shared energy. There could be, you know, this can talk about, it can talk about an ending, right? The Ten of Swords, all the Tens are completions, right? Things, com cycles completing. And we have the lovers, like somebody's making a choice uh, and maybe they don't have a lot of strength. That's the shared energy because the strength card is in reverse. This could talk about a lack of restraint. I don't think that this is uh, part of the situation here. No. The strength card in the reverse. And uh, let's get one more card on the shared energy, the seven of pentacles. Yeah. I just feel like this is more of the nine of wands energy. Someone's uh, concerned here. This is supposed to be the shared energy uh, about how things are going to go, how things are going to work out. Somebody wants to resolve something here. And you and this person... And the King of Pentacles showing up, that's how it looks, is going to be how they feel about you with the Tower, OMG, and the Five of Pentacles. So this person could feel like you've left them out. I feel like this person might think that you're going to leave them out if they return. That's kind of how it looks here, because uh, the energy that they are in is the Nine of Wands <coughs> and the Five of Cups energy. So let's look at your energy here, your cards. We have the Six of Swords and the Hierophant. Wow. Wow. You look like you're, you could be leaving a place, leaving a, a, a union, but you could be getting to a calmer place. Sometimes the Six of Swords is a resolution or resolving something. The King of Wands. So Taurus, you could be dealing with, uh, you know, Aries Leo or Sag, right? And there could be a King of Cups here. And the challenge is the King of Cups. And we have the Three of Wands. This is the challenge. It's possible here you want somebody to turn their back on somebody. Or you just want to move forward with them and you've gone through your own tough ending with this person. And the Three of Cups is what you want showing up with the Ace of Cups, you see? You want a reconciliation and a brand new beginning with this person. There's no other way to, you know, to kind of translate that. No. Uh, not with, you know. <laughs> Let's see what we have. The Fool card is your fear. And the Four of Swords, or your doubt, right? So this is more kind of recovering something. The man's resting in the church. It's like he's recovering, right? But you want, this is what you're afraid of. I feel like you're afraid uh, that you're not going to be able to heal this and that you're not going to be able to resolve a situation. Let's get one more card here. Or you're afraid that this other person will not have the courage to come. Maybe they have to be single with the Nine of Pentacles in their challenge, right? Let's see what else we have. The Temperance card. So, Taurus, your person, you know, could clearly be Sagittarius. But they're, or Aries, right? Or Leo. Because this, where's that Sun card? I mean, the Strength card. It is here. But in the challenge is the King of Cups. Somebody might be married to, 
one of these people here. I mean, this could be you and your husband, or you and your, you know, your marital partner, uh, your marido, or your, you know, it could be your partner. Yeah, man or woman. I think marido is both. But we got, let's look at your person's energy. So they have uh, the Six of Wands, and here they are, and the Nine of Swords energy. Here they are, really worried here, and they are wondering if things are going to be, I feel like this person is wondering if they come forward, if things are going to end. Possibly, like with you. Because to me, it looks like they want to come forward. They're afraid here of the star. Like, I'm not going to heal the situation with Taurus. Right? Your person looks like they're, they're, uh, that they were worried in the past about overcoming the situation with you, it looks like, or about having victory with you, right? It's totally about a union. We have the Four of Wands, the Hierophant. And in the challenge for them is the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. It looks like they have to be single here, right? The Ten of Wands showing a huge burden, uh, you know, over the Nine of Pentacles. And what they want is the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Wow. So the Eights are about progress. Yeah, and this person wants change and growth. Yeah, they do. This person wants the same thing. They want something new. The Eight of Wands is can be fast change. It's really kind of like developments and progress. It is, and it could be, you know, it's 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 inspiring. Yeah, it's like full of growth here with these all these little kind of sprouts. They're in this energy, the Eight of Swords. I feel like they want to release themselves from like feeling stuck and kind of fearful. And uh, this person feels kind of bound, the lady's bound, right? Uh, it, for me, this person wants to come forward, uh, Taurus, and, you know, wet your whistle. I'm just teasing. Uh, uh, <laughs> they want to come forward and be with you and they want to get out of whatever situation they're in here. And their fear is the star card and the sun card. For me, this person's afraid they're not going to have a new beginning with you and they're not going to be happy, right? They're not going to have success. They're not going to have, you know, a sunny, kind of a sunny... Sunny new beginning, the five of swords. Yeah, this is their, this person is afraid this is going to end up in kind of despair, defeat, chaos and conflict. Um, mm -hmm. And this person could be a, it's possible this person has maybe, uh, what's the word? Like, there could have been some past manipulation here when we see the five of swords in the fear that they have, maybe they have done. Because it looks like there's something that needs to be resolved. Right? So let's see what we have. We're going to pull the gypsy spread. And in the heart of the matter, and we're going to complete it in the extended, in the heart of the matter is the house. In the recent past is the old woman, Taurus. No, that's not you. You're the sexy, you know, you've been, uh, you know, you're too sexy for your shirt. You guys remember that silly song? Uh, but, you know, the old woman is somebody from the past usually, or in the past somebody gained their wisdom. Right? And unfolding is going to be the thief, OMG. And uh, we have the Thoughts card as part of the obstacle, which is really kind of worry. Let's get another card for the outcome. And, uh, okay, we're going to talk about the outcome to the Gypsy Spread in the other reading. Uh, we're going to clarify these. These are just tidbits. They are. These are not. This is uh, very incomplete, I can tell. Sometimes we can do a Gypsy Spread with these five cards, but typically no. Um, so we have to paint the picture a little bit more, you guys. And we're going to go to the extended uh, Taurus. We're going to see how this person feels about you. Once again, we're going to look at the underlying energies, you know, what kind of what's the situation between you both. What's crowning their thoughts, their concerns as well, and their environment, their near future, what's unknown, right, which you don't know about this person. And, of course, their true intentions, right? Where would we, where would we be without their true intentions? Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.